American singer, dancer, actress, songwriter, fashion designer, and author. She was a member of the girl group, the Cheetah Girls, from 2003 to 2009. Brian also starred in the Disney Channel original movie, The Cheetah Girls, and its sequels, like The Cheetah Girls, One World. She appeared as a celebrity dancer on season five of Dancing with the Stars in the fall of 2007. She currently resides in the city of Anaheim Hills. Ladies and gentlemen, Sabrina Bryan is not here, but we have the next best thing. And that is Marina Timmons, who interviewed her. Ladies and gentlemen, Marina Timmons. <laughs> Nice, thank you. YMCA, you ever been there? Um, no. Me neither. <laughs> me neither. It's funny though. So let, let me get this straight. You are Sabrina Bryan. Uh, I no, are. I clearly just said you're not. Sorry, that's inappropriate. Okay. Okay. So, but, but you had a chance to talk to her. Yes, correct? I did. Now, how did this all come about that she was here uh, at Tetzloff? Um, well, uh, I just uh, heard that she was coming over here, and um, uh, I was, I'm, um, I'm part of the A team in Mr. Porter's class. I'm uh, one, of the, uh, one of his students that was in the first semester, and uh, I got to stay. I'm very happy about that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and, um, and I'm always the reporter for about everything, and I, and, and I think one day somebody's going to come up to me and say, Marina, you report on way too much stuff. <laughs> but now you like getting out there and interviewing people and uh -huh. doing the reporting stuff. It's fun. Oh, that's awesome. So uh, Sabrina Bryan had come to the school. I think there was a video that she was uh, working on for uh, an, um, a program. Do you remember what the name was? It's the Healthy Team? I, I think it was Empower Me. Empower Me. I think yeah. that's right. <laughs> and so they were shooting this video. And after it was done, you had a chance to bring her over here in your go get them journalistic style and sit her down and shoot the, the hard-hitting questions at her, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's take a look at that interview. Welcome. I'm Rhea Timmons, reporting for the Lions Fly Show, MBTV, and with me, I have Sabrina Bryan from the Cheetah Girls. How are you today? <laughs> I'm great. It's awesome to be here. This is really cool. That's great. We have some questions for you. Okay. All right. What are the Cheetah Girls doing at Ted's Law? Well, right now, it's just me. Um, my other two girls are not here. But right now, we are working with a company and a um, foundation called Empower Me. And it's basically to help empower all of um, the youth to get up and start moving and start working towards a healthier lifestyle. Okay, what are the Cheetah Girls? The Cheetah Girls uh, is a music group that we also do movies. Um, we just got done with our last tour and um, we did a third movie on the channel where we got to travel all the way to India. Mm -hmm. Basically it's a group that is focused on empowering young women and really hopefully, hopefully inspiring young girls to really reach for their dreams and make all of their best wishes happen. Wish you good luck on that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. How did the Cheetah Girls get started? The Cheetah Girls got started from the channel, and we basically, uh, there was a, it's like a 17 book series by Deborah Gregory that the Disney Channel picked up and wanted to do a movie. And from there, we decided to make it into a real girl group and really go on tour and put out albums. And it's been an amazing ride, and I had a lot of fun. But now I'm ready for programs like this and BU, and I have a book, and there's like all the different things that I want to do all by myself, so I'm ready for all that stuff. All right. How did you begin your career? I actually started um, by doing background work, which if there was like a scene in a classroom, you have your main principal characters and then everyone else that's just the classmates, those are the background players. And so I started doing that. I really, really liked being on set and learning more and more about acting. And um, so I decided to get a, an agent and start auditioning. And then a couple years went by and I booked the Cheetah Girls and my life has been different ever since. Awesome. Well, Sabrina, thank you so much for visiting us. I hope we can see you again. All right, thank you. You're welcome. So who was an awesome little reporter? High five, you rocked that one. Oh man, now I did not know some of those things about the Cheetah Girls. The Cheetah Girls! I have a nine-year-old daughter, that says enough. So uh, anyway, 
Were you kind of starstruck at all, or was it like, not, ah, easy peasy, no problem? Kind of yes, and then kind of no. Oh, kind of easy, no problem. Mm -hmm. Got it, got it. Now, it looked like you had a nice, tidy little interview there. You asked her some of the hard-hitting questions that really she needed to come clean with. But I bet you there were a few things that you wanted to be able to ask her, but you just ran out of time. Were yes. there some big questions that you didn't get to? Yes, I wanted to ask her why um, Raven isn't in there anymore. That's what I think, too. <laughs> Not the Cheetah Girls without Raven. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, I'm still, I'm still a little upset about it. I think it. you're thinking of the X-Men, Jim. <laughs> oh. oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. Okay. Sorry. Uh, anyway. And then uh, were there any questions and besides the... And then there was the one about... Um, yeah, and then I'll, we were having a question about, about our movies, I oh. think. Yeah. Something about, like, do, do you remember what it was about the movies? Does she have any? Not really. Not really, not so much, not so much. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, I honestly think you did a great job with there. Uh, final question here, Marina. Uh, if you could interview anyone at Tetzloff, because you're a student here, you're in the, which grade? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Nice, the Ocho. Mm -hmm. um, who would you want to interview? Somebody famous. Here at Tetzloff. Somebody famous. <laughs> Pick a person. Um, at Tetzloff. Somebody I like? <laughs> I don't know. And this person has a name? Say it, come on. Dude. No, come on. <laughs> Johnny Wilkins. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. You like Johnny, don't you? What? I'm sorry, I don't know, making it all up. <laughs> Let's go to the next level. Because maybe Ted's off is too small beans for superstar reporter Ace Marina. Um, how about big star, as big as you can think? If you could interview someone. Okay, who, who? there you go. Um, ooh. Got a whole list of them. Lay them all out. All right. Top 50, go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, how about Madonna? Oh, bro, who's that? I've never heard of I'm just kidding. These are the jokes. These are the jokes. Yeah, famous. Well, last year she made like $200 million more than that, just singing, dancing around on the stage, singing some old songs from 20 years ago. You might be my lucky star. Yeah, we heard it. And, well, uh, 200 bucks for that. Wow, yeah. wow. Anyway, go on. Got Madonna. Who else? Um... Justin Timberlake. Oh, yeah. JT. That's what his friends, mm -hmm. that's what I call him. Uh, on my cell phone, that's what it says in the address book. It's just JT. <laughs> he never yeah. answers. But, uh, he did, well, it's actually, it's a different, I, I, I got a high school friend, John Townsend. <laughs> but it's different. You got your JT. Who else? Top uh, Matt bigger. Green and Creator of Simpsons. Oh, wow. And some other comics, like Life and Boop Boop, you know, and lots of great stuff. Matt Green is a, he's a good guy. Mm -hmm. I know him. We're neighbors. Really? No. <laughs> uh, would you want to throw in like a wild card? Anyone else you might want to interview? Um, well, I guess maybe the voices of some of my favorite cartoon characters. Like? A lot of people know this. I know my mom knows this, but I'd like to interview the people who would do the voices of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes on a Half Shell? Yep. Turtle power. Yeah. No. My favorite's Michelangelo. Oh, my he fame. was such. Oh, you mean the turtle? I was the you're talking about the art world. No. Yeah, no, he's great. He wears red. Is he the red one? No, he's the orange. The orange one. one. Raphael right. is the red one. Sorry, sorry. And Leonardo is the blue. And Sean. No. <laughs> <laughs> is that a Renaissance painter named Sean? He was a renaissance Sweet. man, but not a painter. God, is so much. Well, that is so awesome. Uh, and, you know, maybe one of these days we're going to do a little switcheroo and Marina can sit here and interview someone like this. Really? Or someone better. We'll let you pick. So, But anyway, thank you so much, Marina, for coming on the show. It has been awesome taking us through your reporting treks, your journeys. And for those of you at home who I saw you getting up to get your hands on those cheese puffs, set them down for a second because if you leave and miss this, you're going to regret it.